Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space out in my backyard. And today we are up potting seedlings. We have a lot to up pot. The biggest thing are the tomatoes that have germinated and they now need their own space. So in order to not have to up pot again this year, we're using these. They came from, I believe, Lowe's. I think I got some marigolds. Now, we may have to use some other things too, like the for sales. Um, either way, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I do not have to up pot again this year. The other thing we're going to do if we don't run out of sunlight is I talked about these nasturtiums <laughs> that belong in this bed behind me. So we're going to hopefully get those planted out too. The other thing is all of these, they're staying outside. <laughs> And then I'm going to pot up the roselle as well as the moringa trees into this. They should last until it's time to plan out. I have less than a month now uh, before I'm going to plan out. And then we're going to also get these uh, basil into their own little sale. Which I've done with a lot of them already. But I didn't get around to the rest of them. Literally all of these came out of one sale. So that's how many... We're gonna be getting out of each sale. And so I lost my I lost my energy. But just to show you, our peppers are doing amazingly too. Uh, the moringa is not looking that good, and I think it's because it needs more space. So we're gonna pot the uh, moringa and the roselle up this evening. We're not potting up the peppers because uh, they're doing just fine. And then we're going to go in the house, which will probably be a separate video. Um, and we are going to start our four week seeds. But I'm, I'm behind. I'm a little bit behind. And it's okay. <laughs> it is a-okay with me. Uh, because I have a long growing season, as I always say. And so we are going to get those things done tonight. <laughs> so I'm out in the greenhouse, sitting on my home and garden trans stool. Um, which I love like the fact that it is so movable so light and I can use it pretty much anywhere I really love that about that garden seat uh, So first thing if you're interested, uh, there's a link down in the description below if you're interested in this garden seat But I mean I can use it all over the garden. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these up now I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I don't I don't wash my stuff out I don't for I don't like clean it I don't do any of that, so in case you're wondering, these have been in the greenhouse over winter. I don't clean them out. I don't. Thankfully, this soil uh, was already moist. And this is like the good thing about having a greenhouse. I can make all the messes I want. <laughs> and nothing is going to happen because I'm outside in the greenhouse. Um, I have a video on this greenhouse if you're interested. Um, it is from Quick Tent. It's from Quick Tent. I do not know the size, but it's in that video. So I'll link it for you. But yeah, we getting some work done today. Now, here's my problem. Well, not problem. Like I said, if we don't have enough spaces for all the tomatoes in this, we're going to have to put them in the four sales. But the four sale still has more space than the six sale, and I think it'll get us to planting time. I, I think. <laughs> So here are the tomatoes, and I'm going to plant them really deep. I'm going to take these, but uh oh, oh, we got new nails, y'all. <laughs> Nail cam for April. I did some yellow um, with some gold, black, and silver. I like them, and I didn't do anything, like I always say. She says, what do you want? I say, whatever you want to give me. <laughs> and then she gives me whatever she wants. So I'm going to write these out. I'm going to take them all out of here just because they're all pretty tall. Um, and I want to just make sure I don't have to do this again this year. I just don't. Uh, so we got a pink beef steak. And we already have one tag written up. So we, can, we won't have to worry about that. So we got a pink beef steak here pink beefsteak here we had two come up so that's a plus and some of them that I'm giving away I'm definitely gonna put in the for sale trays uh, so that I can give them away easy and I don't have to repot them for the people that I'm giving them away to <laughs> so literally just like I did with the peppers I'm gonna pop it out pull it out the roots 
I watered these last night sometime. So the roots weren't full. I just don't want two growing in one. Tomatoes are pretty easy to separate and they don't mind having their roots disturbed. But see, that's all I'm gonna do. Keep dropping it. That's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to put a pretty deep hole in this sail. Really, really deep, as far as I can go down. And then I'm gonna pop the tomato down in there. And that's all I'm gonna do to pop them up. Just like that. And the soil that I'm using is the miracle Grow Organics, uh, Performance Organics. Same soil that I used to start them in. And everything came up. So see, now we have potted up tomatoes. We love that for us. <laughs> uh, we only got one hillbilly. So that's cool. And if I see another one pop up, it'll pop up in the same sale. And I can move it or I could just leave it. I didn't get the whole thing, so that's fine too. I won't know what it is. And actually, I'm gonna dump this soil that I have left back into here. It's okay, tomato will come up. <laughs> I got three black beauties. Do I need three black beauties? No, but I will tell you one thing. I didn't get as many eggplants as I needed, so we're not replanting eggplants uh, because like, I'm probably the only person who eats eggplants in my house. So with that being said, we're gonna keep probably all of the tomato seeding, seedlings and we'll work from there. I could find someone to give them to if I don't need them all. So we're gonna answer a few questions today while I do this. One of the questions, first question. Someone asked me, how do I use thyme medicinally? I make a tea. I make a tea um, and we drink a tea out of it. So I steep it. I have a little teapot someone over here gave me. Thank you to that person. I'm sure I said that before, but we really, really love that teapot. Um, it's so cool looking and it's clear and you can see right through it. We love it. So I just take it and I, and I uh, steep it, warm up the water, heat up the water and I steep it. And that's how I use uh, thyme medicinally. It's how I've used thyme medicinally so far. I have books, which I told people I'd come back and tell them the name of those books, and I never did, but I will, I promise. I would do it right now if I was not outside. My daughter cut grass and did that for the first time today. She's never cut grass. My son normally does it. He didn't do it this time for some reason. And I couldn't take it no more, so we cut the grass and did the um and did some weed eating this evening before we got started. And I think I couldn't take it anymore because I had to walk over to this greenhouse and walk it through all that high grass. Don't y'all don't care, do you? <laughs> I know, and it makes sense that you wouldn't. It's not your backyard. <laughs> All right, Isis Candy, we got three of those, and I'm like literally not planting three of those in here because I'm not keeping three. I'm not keeping three uh, cherry tomato varieties. Uh, that's the same. So we're just gonna pop them up in the three, in the four sales. And what I might do is do one of each kind of um, cherry tomato so that when I share, someone can get three different varieties. And it'll all be cherry tomatoes though. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. And I did not have time. It is after six o'clock right now. So I didn't have time to write out everything and that's why I'm doing it one by one, which, which is cool, I'm fine with that. <laughs> you know what, I'm still saying candy apple, aren't I? It's Isis candy. I have a friend whose mother gardens. Actually, I actually have a friend who's starting a garden this year. So they can get several different varieties and see what they like. That's not where I meant to put that. I meant to put two of them over here because that's where I'm putting two of them. Hey girl, hey. hey. They go friend, y'all. <laughs> friend is here. So how, doing this outside, that very much makes me feel more I like it better outside. I normally do all of this inside, but also normally my plants have been started forever and ever I made. <laughs> I much more prefer it outside. Paul Robeson, I'll keep all three of those. Let me write that down. So have y'all started planting, potting up, all of that stuff? I'm sure you have. I think at this point, I would imagine most people have already started doing this, right? 
No? <laughs> if I'm, am I wrong? You can tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like, oh, here comes puppy. Hey, girl. She stays in here. I'm very nervous about leaving these seedlings out here. And not just her. We have cats around. And then if she sees the cat, she will run in here. And I would imagine the cat will probably jump on the table. That's even with the uh, closure down. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm nervous about leaving them out here. And I was thinking about this thing, y'all. That other greenhouse, the greenhouse itself is fine. The way I have chosen to put shelving in it, not so much. All the, I came home the other day and it had been windy and all the shelves had fallen over. So with that being said, we're not going to have sweet potatoes this year. because uh, But we still got sweet potatoes in the house, friend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're not going to have sweet potatoes in the garden this year because... Uh, the sweet potatoes fell over. I didn't have slips already. I was hoping to get them, but now they falling over. We're not gonna have turmeric, which is fine. You know, we could always try again next year. I'm very easy with, I'm, I'm very easy with this gardening thing. <laughs> but y'all know that if y'all been here for a while, I, I don't let it get to me too much. So we're not gonna have either of those in the garden this year. Uh, we'll do it again next year. And like I was telling her. We still have sweet potatoes left from last year, so we need to eat those anyway. <laughs> now, somebody had asked me, do they need to wait until August to plant out their seedlings? I think it's because I mentioned I was not going to do a certain variety, the Sheboygan tomatoes, until August. But let me, let me clear that up. No, tomatoes go out after your last spring frost. The Sheboygans that I'm waiting to plant until August so I can get a second round of crop died out very fast in the summer. And so I'm just choosing not to plant that variety until August. But like all of these tomatoes I'm potting up right now, they're going out at the beginning of May. So I think I maybe caused a little bit of um, misunderstanding or confusion there. But no, you do not have to wait until August. Um, you, you actually don't want to wait until August. Unless you have a very long growing season, you don't want to wait until August. You want to get them out um, after your last frost has passed. Um, and you want them to grow through summer. So, hope that helped. <laughs> and if it was me that gave the impression that you do wait apologies for that because <laughs> that's not that, that's not what you do all right dr weich's beautiful tasty yummy tomato right here you know what else we got to get potted up i'm gonna keep all of these dr weich's i'm keeping most things right now just to see if i have space in the garden i'm gonna plant them out and like I say it, if I don't, whatever I don't have space for, I'll give to somebody else. I'll maybe put them in single pots if they're too big and give them to somebody else. I give away. I offload plants every year. I offload plants every year just for this reason right here. I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> that is the reason why I end up having to offload. But it's helping somebody else start a garden or, you know, add a new plant to their garden. So I'm fine with that. So, I need another space for Dr. Weiches. But, we're all planted up. We are all planted up. I'm excited about that. For now, we're just going to slide them to the side. But, I'm pretty sure. I wish. My dog goes into the other greenhouse, too. So, it's not like she don't go in that greenhouse. It's having a drink, too. I have to go refill that. <laughs> Let's see. I need to get some more soil. And I think I had mentioned, like, I'm excited because this soil was moist straight out of the bag. I didn't have to do anything to moisten this soil. So, that was a plus. It, the day that we went and got it, it was raining. So, I got lucky. It's a beautiful day in Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful day. How is the weather where you are? I wish I had more of these. Um... When I went to Lowe's one day, like these were from Marigolds, which I have to start tonight. I had brought, purchased some Marigolds um, 
but if you catch lows when they're throwing out plants that are dying you can get really good containers from them like i walked in one day and this girl was like tossing plants into a little crate or whatever and i said what are you gonna do with the containers and she was like we're gonna throw them away i said can i have some she was like yeah so i just dug through their little <laughs> through their little crate or whatever and took good containers someone asked me or people are asking like how do i keep pests off my plants and unfortunately i don't do anything like um i've had not unfortunately but when i say unfortunately it's unfortunate because i can't give you any ideas because i don't do anything because i'm assuming like my ecosystem has started to grow um, i've been gardening since 2020 so my ecosystem and my garden has started to grow and normally if i get a pest some other bug or uh insect ends up taking care of them like for instance when i get uh tomato hornworms then the the uh wasp will come and lay their eggs on them and then I don't really have to deal with them. And I think for fall, I plant out as late as I can in fall. And so by that time, it's getting cool. So like I plan out, the latest I could plan out is sometime in September. And I last year started planting in September and I really didn't have a pest problem. So I wish I could help more, but I really don't have, I don't have any answers for that. And I'm not going to make up something because I don't have any answers for it. And like the ants in the greenhouse. And I know people were like, put down cinnamon, do this, do that. I don't do nothing. <laughs> I, I don't, I really don't. I don't do anything for any pest. I just don't. Uh, if you've been here for a while, you know, every year flea beetles chew up my eggplant. Every year they chew up my eggplant. And every year I let the eggplant produce what they're going to produce and what they not, they don't. Cause I don't, I just don't do anything to them. So wish I had a better answer. I don't have a better answer for that. I, unfortunately, I don't. I know I've heard people say like they use neem oil and different things. Um, like for the ants, I've heard people say that they, you know, put, put cinnamon down. Now this is my, this is my sharing one that I'll give to, that I'll give to someone else. Oh, someone asked about the chickens. They said they had purchased six chicks from Tractor Supply. They don't know anything about it. Don't you worry. When I got mine, I didn't either. You will learn. <laughs> I promise you will learn. Um, and you said that you fill the bottle um, thing, but they scratch the uh, wood chips in it. Is it normal? It absolutely is normal. Um, I do, though, put mine up on a brick. So, like, even in the, the quail in the house. So, they're really small now because it's my last hatching the hatching before that didn't do well i'll just put them up put the water up on a brick even for my chickens outside there's because my chicken water is three uh gallons i just have three bricks down at the bottom and i set it up that will help but um you can do it with baby chicks too uh wherever you have it just like sit it up on a brick sit it up on something that way when they're kicking it there's less chance that there will be uh shavings kicked into it but it's very normal um i would not worry about it at all it's it's very normal for them to do that someone asked me do i have luck with beets at all no no i do not I actually have beets out in the garden right now that are bolting, but it's not one beet on it. So here's the thing. Uh, root vegetables do not like a lot of um, nitrogen. I do know that. And so when I fertilize my beds with fish emulsion, which is mostly nitrogen, um, my beets are in the same bed. So with that being said, I imagine that my... Uh, non luck with beets is because of that so next year i am going to not next year next planting i'm going to put them in their own space and not fertilize with uh fish emulsion a lot or i'm going to fertilize uh dilute it i'm going to dilute it that's another thing i'm going to do with these once um they've been in here for a day or two i'm going to come in here and bottom water with some fish emulsion, but I'm going to dilute it. I haven't fertilized anything as of yet, which, you know, it's it's fine, <laughs> but, but I will. 
Someone asked if you can grow peaches in Connecticut. I don't know. I don't know what zone you're in, but I would Google peaches that can grow in Connecticut and see what comes up. Um, I'm not sure. You would need to find a peach tree that can survive the, the lowest temperature in your area. So I went to, I got both of my peach trees from Lowe's um, and I felt like, and I could have been completely wrong. Oh, there's four of these. I could have been completely wrong about it. I was like, well, if Lowe's in my area is selling it, I probably could grow it. <laughs> and so I bought it. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. But that was my thought on it. If it's being sold in the Lowe's here, I, I probably can grow it. And that has proven to be true with, with those peaches. So um, I would just say Google peach varieties that grow in Connecticut and, and see what comes up because I honestly... Oh no, crack that. I honestly do not know. Okay, someone asked where I got my comfrey seeds from. I didn't start my comfrey from seed. Um, I used to do seed swapping over on Instagram um, with chefs who grow. Um, and someone ordered the little, the roots. And she sent me some of those as a part of, I think actually we did a group order of the roots and so I think they did it was like ten dollars and we ordered the roots if you can find someone who has them already uh, come free if you dig you can just dig it and, and, and replant it um, and it doesn't have to be the whole plant I've given someone on Instagram who live closer to me uh, plants and she said they're doing really good in her garden uh, she lives probably about an hour or so away and I was going to be in her area so when I went I took her some plants she said they do, they're doing really good in her garden so uh someone asked do I have any towers I don't have any towers do I want some towers absolutely <laughs> but I, I don't have any towers um I'm not gonna lie they seem to be a bit expensive to me and I don't really have a spot for it already either so i would be buying something with no room and i feel like they're a little bit expensive if, if that's your only way to grow or like if it's just what you want to do i would say go for it i've seen many channels where they use them and they work just fine so i would say hey go for it i, I can't give you any experience on it you know who can give you experience uh jess of course from roots and refuge grows in them um Becoming a farm girl, she uses them. Um, bah, 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 bah. Faith Family Homestead uses them. That th Those are the ones I can remember right now. So I would go check out some of those channels because I don't actually have any experience growing in towers. I, I do not. Oh, everybody's asking what I'm going to do in the pool area. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing right now. It's definitely not going to be a grow space because I have promise my children my daughter mostly who does come outside um that i'm not going to make that side a garden so um, i'm not going to be growing over there and i saw everybody saying more space to grow if you've been here for a while you know that even if that pool was gone i wasn't going to grow over there because i promised her and we have a dog who needs space we don't put her in the front yard. We always put her in the backyard. So we're not going to do any kind of um, growing over there in that space. By the way, I got my sun gold seeds last week and they have sprouted. Not going to move them today though uh, because they need to get a little bit bigger. But we have way more tomatoes that we need to pot up. Those are some more. My tomatillos have not come up. I don't have any luck with tomatillos either. I don't have any luck with tomatillos, so. Oh, y'all, look. When we went shopping today, there's this uh, place that we go that we get our rings from. I found a little lotus. Y'all see it? It's so cute to me. Um, My tomatillos did not come up, so boo on that. All right, let's see here. I'm trying to get through comments because I haven't been able to answer them, so I was like, I got to do a video where I answer comments. Um. Someone asked, where did I get my Thai blue butterfly seeds? I got them from um, Baker Creek. I got them from Baker Creek, and those have germinated already, too. Um, I left them right here. Yeah, well, I only got one right here. Right, where is it? <laughs> right here. I only got one to germinate so far, but I let them soak. I 
let them soak way too long. <laughs> let them soak way too long because my life is busy, y'all. Somebody said, how can you plant all this stuff and keep up? Uh, well, you see me right now. I don't know if I'm keeping up, but <laughs> uh, the fourth week from my planting date was Wednesday. It is Sunday, and I still don't have those things planted out. So keeping up is relative <laughs> for me. Keeping up is relative, but I do try to get things out and ready to go in a time frame where I can still plant them out when I want to plant. So I don't want to say I keep up. But I do, but I do get my stuff planted, potted up and stuff kind of close to when they need to be. Um, but I do, I, I, I'll show you, I'll link the video where I did my planting planning for this year. Uh, so that's how I at least know what I'm supposed to be planting and the time frame, the dates when I'm supposed to, whether it gets done or not is, you know, another story. So I link that for you. All right, let's see. On to the next. So now we're about to have to start doing the four sale trays because I don't have any more of these. I'm definitely gonna go see if I can find some more though because I, I I love those little trays. Um, I don't use anything fancy, which which I've said already. So someone said, can you speak more about aphids? I think that's what you said. I think I may have that problem. Uh, so aphids are little they're really tiny and i think most times they're black and they look like clusters of them are on a plant um as i understand it ladybugs eat them you can also just spray them off of the plant um and, and you may have to do that a few times just spray them off of the plant but i don't really do too much with them when it happens uh i, I might spray a little bit but that's about it um, and what they do, so if you see ants, a lot of ants, you may have aphids because the a as I understand it, the aphids suck the sap and then the ants are able to eat it. They work together. <laughs> That's nature working together. If anybody has any options for this person, please leave it down below. Like I always say, I have no problems with other people answering comments over here um, if you're being helpful. Where did I get my bags? I mentioned this in my last video. I get them from Amazon um, and they are linked below. They're seven gallon bags. Uh, so yeah. What can I put in my soil to make it soft? Organic matter. <laughs> So compost, um, and depending on, it's either vermiculite or perlite. One of them helps soil to drain. The other one, I think, helps it to hold moisture. So you might want to check exactly which one it is. But the one that's going to really help your soil stay moist um, and, and kind of loamy, and that's where I say loamy is like where it's um, kind of light, and fluffy that's gonna be organic matter like compost so, yeah so I asked about the size of the greenhouse but I really don't I, I really don't know and then someone asked about the size of my cam cattle panel I don't actually know the size I do know I, I got it from tractor supply they do have different sizes I just went in and brought the cheapest cattle panel they had <laughs> Oh, somebody mentioned like rolling the, the door inside to the greenhouse. And honestly, someone else gave me that. Someone here left a comment about the other greenhouse because it was filling up with water. And they said, roll it the other way. So that's where I learned it from. <laughs> oh, everybody's talking about like, why didn't I just leave the plastic on the garden bed? I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I should have took it off. So I did. <laughs> okay. Someone asked, do I harden off my plants? They, they, they remember that I maybe said I didn't harden off my plants when they were in the greenhouse. I don't. I mean, I, I put them out. But if I'm honest, I don't harden off anything at this point. If you were here for last season when we was trying to plant out, I put them outside and I just let them stay. I just did. Um, and they, you know, they had a moment. And then they was fine. <laughs> so I do, hey. So, I mean, I guess I do let them harden off. I just don't do the back and forth in and out of the house hardening off. So, I just put them out there and whatever, make it, make it. 
in most cases, everything makes it. Now, I'm not telling anybody else to do that. I'm not telling anybody else to do that. Um, but but that's what I did. It, it, somebody asked, so I just say yes. I mean, I'm answering the question. It's not a suggestion. Someone asked um, how many acres in the size of my land. I, I don't have no acres over here. <laughs> I don't have any acres. Um, I, I live in a normal like urban lot um and so no acres i just am planting in what i what what i have it's a normal size normal size backyard someone asked do i heal my potatoes i don't i just plant them in the bags and um harvest them when they're ready i don't i don't do any healing um on my potatoes and I rarely plant in the ground because I have a mole, a vole, a mouse, or something that comes through here every year. And so the one time, so the one time I did plant tomatoes and uh, potatoes in the ground, they just start eating them up. I mean, was eating them all the way up, y'all. So I, I don't plant them in the ground anymore, which I don't heal them either. I just cover them up. At planting and then I let them grow because they're in a bag anyway it's kind of chilly out here tonight um, well it's getting chilly but I think they'll be fine it's not it's not gonna freeze so oh and since I'm not gonna have ginger because that fell over and I'm not gonna have turmeric because that fell over I will have extra bags so that's another reason why I'm trying to keep as much as I can because I have space to grow other things and a lot of my um herbs germinated y'all i'm pretty excited about that a lot of my herbs germinated someone asked where am i located i am in virginia zone 7b i know zones don't really matter but if you are in the same zone i think sometimes it's nice to hear that you're in the same zone um in the same state because in most cases um the growing patterns are going to be close to the same if you're in the same state but if you're like in the same zone in a state on the other side of the world and we don't have the same um last frost date and we don't have the same lowest temperature it doesn't really matter much but for you for someone in the same state in the same zone i imagine that it would be helpful to know uh what zone i'm in so i do still talk about it <laughs> Oh, somebody said, do I ever have snakes and mice? Thank God I ain't never had a snake. But yes, Lord, I've had some mice out here. Um, that was not a fun time. It was actually a very frustrating time. I'm going to be honest. And I was like, I cannot believe this. The mice were eating my tomato plants. They were eating my sunflowers. They were eating everything. Um, also, I will say, I used snap traps. I used snap traps. I did. That's how I got rid of them. If anybody was interested, I started out trying to do humane, but they were staying away from them traps. Like they they won't go nowhere near them. I was like, well, I did all of this work. By the way, my fennel came up. It didn't dawn on me that fennel is kind of, I guess, like a root crop. I don't know if I'm supposed to be replanting them or not. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna do it. All right, our last tomato container. So I am going to get it done tonight super excited about that the basil <laughs> the basil still ain't probably getting done tonight but it's on my list it's the next thing i'll be planting up so i think i'm about to lose my memory card i think it's filling up and i think i've answered a lot of questions you know how long this video is gonna be at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and go um but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to visit me over on instagram where i post about the things going on in the garden almost every day bye y'all